Hi there, my name's Carolyn Pitts. Today, let's talk about something that is a staple in my diet, chia seeds. What are chia seeds? Well, chia seeds come from a plant called the Salvia Hispanica, which was primarily grown in Mexico and Central and South America. Apparently, the Aztecs, the Mayans, and the Incas used chia seeds in their diet and also in um, making medicines and making paint. I don't know, that's what I found online. Um, chia seeds contain all three macronutrients. So there's fat, there's protein, and there's carbohydrates. Let's talk about the protein component. Protein is really important in our diet because protein is the building block of our body. Our body uses protein to make blood and bone and skin and hair. And when we look at what's in a protein, they are chains of amino acids. There's 22 different amino acids that can be chained together in various configurations to make a protein. Chia seeds have 18 of those 22 amino acids. And within those 22 amino acids, there's nine that we cannot manufacture within our bodies. We have to consume them in our diet. And all nine of those amino acids are in chia seeds. From a carbohydrate perspective, the carbs in chia seeds are mostly fiber. There's a tiny amount, uh, there's a tiny amount of starch and no sugar. Fiber is really important in our diet because it helps keep our digestive system working well. Um, and the insoluble fiber in chia seeds helps to nourish our gut microbiome. And a lot of Americans, we don't get enough fiber in our diet. The recommended daily allowance for an adult is between 25 and 30 grams of fiber per day. And some studies estimate that most Americans eat around 16 grams of fiber. But a serving of chia seeds, which is two tablespoons, has 10 grams of fiber. So right there, you're getting a third of the recommended daily allowance. The fiber in chia seeds can help lower blood cholesterol, um, particularly low density lipoproteins, AKA the bad cholesterol, and blood glucose. Now, the fat in chia seeds is primarily polyunsaturated fat, and they're very high in omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3s are another substance that our body cannot manufacture from other things we eat. We have to have omega-3s in our diet. And omega-3s can help prevent heart disease and stroke. There's been a lot of studies done about that. And they also suspect that omega-3s can help with lupus, eczema, rheumatoid arthritis, all these things under the umbrella of autoimmune disease. Um, and they may play a protective role in cancer and inflammation. So a pretty cool little seed, but we're not done yet. They're also uh, loaded with B vitamins, particularly B1, B3, vitamin C, vitamin A, and minerals. I'm gonna read from my list. Phosphorus, calcium, potassium, magnesium, iron, selenium, and zinc. So really powerhouse of a nutrient. And finally, there's an antioxidant called quercetin in chia seeds that can help lower blood pressure and reduce the risk of heart disease. So. By now, you might be saying, well, if I haven't tried them, I'm interested in trying them. What do I do with them? There's so many things you can do with chia seed. Uh, for me, I primarily use it in oatmeal, whether I'm making my oatmeal hot or I'm making overnight oats. And I have a video, I'll link to it, um, for shows you how I do overnight oats. I'll also just sprinkle them over some fresh fruit and add some yogurt and some nuts. I've got a video where I show you how I do that too. I stir them into my smoothies. I sprinkle them on top of avocado toast. And something that's really cool about chia seeds, again, coming back to the insoluble fiber, you can take a tablespoon of chia seeds and mix it with two and a half tablespoons of water. 
let it sit for a little bit and it will firm up into this gel-like substance that you can use to thicken soups or stews. You can use it as a binder. If you're baking and you don't have an egg, you can make a chia seed egg and use that in, in place of an egg. Um, you can make chia seed pudding. There's so many recipes out there. Basically, um, it's a ratio of like four to one, four parts milk, one part chia seed. Uh, put it in the fridge. It can firm up in 15 minutes, but I think a lot of people let it just soak overnight. It makes an interesting pudding. But like I said, there are so many things out there on the internet that you can um, use chia seeds for, and I'm, I just can't touch on all of them in this video. So go check that out. One word of caution, I would avoid eating chia seeds dry because once they mix with moisture, they start to swell up. And so if you eat them dry and you had some chia seeds lodge in your throat and then they start to get in the lining of your throat and mix with the moisture, they could start to swell up and uh, maybe cause a little bit of unpleasant choking sensation. All right, so where do you get them? You can get them at the grocery store. Look in the aisle where the baking supplies are, like the oils and the spices. You might find them down near, um, near the flowers. Um, if you have choices at your grocery store, they have more than one type of chia seed, turn the packages around and compare the nutrient information on the back of the package because the nutrients in chia seeds can vary depending on where they're grown. And because they've become such a popular food, they're also now being grown in the United States and Europe and Africa. So just compare the labels. All right, well, that is what I wanted to share with you today. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I really appreciate anyone taking the time to leave me a comment because it's your feedback that helps inspire new content. And if this kind of content appeals to you, I invite you to join my intention circle by going to intendwell.us and entering your email address every Friday. I send a short email with a link to my content for the week and sometimes some bonus extras just for members of the circle. Thank you for your time and attention. I appreciate it so much. Have a beautiful day and remember to intend 